Hi there, it's Jay and welcome back to another how-to video. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start filling this tank of trailer with water because it takes a while. And then I have two questions for you. First, have you ever been watching another Farming Simulator 22 channel like DJ Gohan? And notice that he has a combine that harvests at 30 miles an hour and has an almost unlimited grain tank? Or have you done something like I did here, which was download and install the fire hydrant mod, which I hoped would give me free water so I wouldn't have to pay for it from the tank that comes with the farm and save me from driving around the map to the rivers and the lakes and then back in the trailer in and filling it. Well, if you stay tuned, I'm going to show you how to change a few simple file settings so that you can achieve these same results. We're going to look at the class combine. If we look at it in the store very quickly, it's the downloadable one. It's a Dominator 108 SL Maxi, and it has a maximum speed of 15 miles an hour on the road, not harvesting, because remember, combines are limited by the speed of the header. So we're going to change both the speed of the combine and the speed of the header to allow us to A, drive quicker, and B, harvest quicker, and have a much bigger tank. And then we're also gonna change the file on the fire hydrant so that it gives us free or very cheap water, and hopefully also we'll change it so that it fills a lot quicker. As you can see, we're still at just under 80% full and we've been live now for two and a half minutes so it's taking a while to fill and as you can see by the speed my money's going down it's charging me a fair bit for water let's just let it finish filling and then we will see what the total cost is for a tanker full of water I believe it's $3,200 which doesn't sound like a lot. Yep, $3,200. But if you have multiple greenhouses that need water, that eats into your profit. And if you have animal pens that require water, that also aids into your profit. And both of these activities require a lot of driving back and forth to the rivers, like I said, to get the free water. So the first thing we need to do is we need to exit out of the game. So I'm going to exit because you can't change mod files while you're in the game. Now here we are in my mod folder. Now downloaded mods come in a zip file regardless of whether you download them directly from uh, ModHub in-game or the ModHub on the Giants webpage. Windows 10 or better, 11, will allow you to open a zip file without needing a special program. You just double click on the folder you want to edit and it will show you the files. I have WinZip installed because I use it for a couple of other different um, programs. So once you've gone into the folder that you want, you want to look for the XML file, the basic one. So here we have Hydrant XML. Let's open that. We're going to use WordPad to edit the file. Now you can actually change a couple more things. Um, you can change the daily upkeep to a dollar if you wanted to. You can change the price to 500 to buy it or even a dollar to buy it 
I'm not too worried about the price at a thousand dollars. It's quite reasonable. What we are going to look for is a, as I said, the first thing is the fill liters per second. It's only set to 200. So we're going to set that to a thousand liters per second. So that should speed up our loading time. And secondly, we want to look for the price scale right below it. It's set for one. Now one means that something is going to charge you the default game price, which is why it costs 3,200 to fill up at the fire hydrant and the same amount to fill up at the in-game water tank. So let's go ahead and we'll change this to 0 0.001, just because I still want to give it a minimal charge or minimal cost to buying water. We'll go ahead and we'll save that. Make sure you don't file save as because you don't want to change the location or you don't want to add a different file. You want to save the file we're editing here. I'm going to update the zip file with changes and go ahead and save that. Okay, so now when we load back into the game, we should get almost free water and hopefully our tanker will load a lot quicker. The second one that we wanted to look at was the class dominator. So we're going to open up that file. Now you'll notice the file structure is a little bit more complex on this one than it was on the fire hydrant, just because it's a mod that comes with three different items. It comes with the dominator itself, and it comes with the trailer and the header. So again, we're going to go into the file and we're going to look for the XML file. This one I believe is for the header. So let's go ahead again and we'll open that up in our windows application file. We don't want to change, like I said, I'm no modest, so I'm not going to start messing with different things other than maybe the price, but again, $8,500 is fine for starting farm. But I'm going to look for speed because I want to change the speed at which it works at. So the speed limit is 10. Now the game files are all done in kilometers per hour. So I want this to a header to work at a re well at a faster speed. I don't want it to go massively fast. So I'm going to change it to 25. And if my math is right, that should mean it's going to harvest at 15 miles per hour. So let's go ahead again and save that file. Close it. We don't need to, we want to update the zip file. And then we want to go back because I want to do one more thing to the dominator itself. The dominator's max speed is 15 miles an hour, as we saw. So we're going to open up the file. And again, we're going to look at max speed is 25 kilometers per hour. I want to change that to 60, which I believe 60 kilometers an hour. Uh, my math is not that good, so I'm not quite sure what that is in miles per hour, but we're going to update save save again and now let's fire up farming simulator 22. i'll be right back okay and we're back in the game so let's jump into the truck and we'll start filling the trailer see we're at 10 percent already 20 percent 30% so it's filling a lot quicker than it was before I think ideally I should have gone for 2,000 liters per second which would give it a very quick fill rate um, 
But this is definitely no slouch at a thousand liters per second. We're almost there. And that total cost to fill that trailer was three dollars. So more or less free water. Secondly, the other thing I forgot to do while I remember was I wanted to change the capacity from 7,500 liters on that combine so it would hold a lot more grain. What I should have shown you to do was continue searching. It's very simple, like I said, continue scrolling down or you can use the search function and you just want to look for the command capacity. It was lifted, listed as seventy five hundred liters, and I've changed it to seventy five thousand liters. So we'll take a quick look in the store again. So now, according to the store, still the same horsepower and everything, but it's got a 75,000 liter capacity and a max speed of 37 miles per hour. So let's get to the field and we'll start harvesting. Okay, there was one thing I forgot to change. We changed the max speed, which shows in the store what the new max speed technically is, but I forgot to change the second setting in the game file, so we're doing that now. If you search all the way down, you're going to look for max forward speed. I changed that from the 25 to the 60, like we have on the top, so both should match. So I'm going to go ahead and save that file again. Exit, save, and we're going to load Farming Simulator again. I'll bring you back in when we're back in game. Okay, so we're back in the game. I don't do a lot of editing of the XML files, which is why I tend to forget things once in a while. Um, like I said, I do know the basics of it. Uh, normally, what I just I just change simple things like the, um, the price on the fire hydrant if I'm not happy with them. In Farming Simulator 19, we had the placeable speed seed tanks. I've got to unfold it. And um, like I said, I changed, so they were set to the default price. I wanted them to be cheaper because to me, it made sense to be buying in bulk. You wouldn't be paying the same price as you would for a pallet. Um, I don't have access to this land. I've got to buy it. Let's do that. Um, so that's why I changed the price on the seed tanks to give me a discount for bulk buying as opposed to uh, individual buying. Now this should harvest at Yep, as you can see, it's harvesting at the uh, 15 miles an hour that we set it at. And the grain tank is registering almost nothing. If we put it on a helper, the helper should also harvest at that speed. So that's how you edit your XML files. Word of warning. If you change the XML files in any, either any of your mods, and you can do it in the base game, but I don't recommend it because it may have adverse effects. If you just do it on a mod and it doesn't work properly, you can uninstall that mod. But anyway, the warning is if you've modified the mod folder or the file in the mod folder, you won't be able to use that in a multiplayer game without resetting it back to its original parameters. Technically, you could share that file with your friends, but be careful because unless you have the original mod's permission, 
to redistribute his mod file, you might be in violation of copyright. So that's just my word of warning. The other thing to bear in mind, and we're not going to save this, see we're only at 2% and we've harvested three rows of the field. The other thing to bear in mind, and I'm just going to exit out, is when you go back to Mod Hub. Yes, I don't want to save. So go to downloadable content. If you go to these two files, it will say there is an update available. That is because your downloaded file doesn't match the file hosted on Mod Hub. So it thinks your file needs to be updated. If you update these files, it'll reset them back to the original parameters. So keep in mind what files you've modified and don't update them. Or if you do, be prepared to go back in and change the settings again. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.